This video is brought to you by Sailrite. Visit Sailrite.com for all your project supplies, tools, and instructions. In this video, we'll show you how to install the vent grommets. Typically, vent grommets are used in cushion applications, so air can quickly escape when the occupant sits on the cushion, thus reducing the possible instant ballooning of the cushion when sat on. They are also very helpful in providing added breathability for a non-breathable fabric over a foam application, like vinyl cushions, bolster slash combing pads, and more. First, we need to cut a hole in the fabric where we want the vent grommet to be installed. For the three-quarter vent grommet, use a 7 16 inch hole cutter, that's a number three. And notice a small scrap of that same fabric has been placed on top. It is wise to always cut a square out of some scrap fabric to help reinforce the grommet installation to help reduce the chance of the grommet cutting through the outer cover fabric accidentally. The vent grommet's male flange should be pushed through the hole you just made from the decorative face of the fabric. Now working on the inside surface of the fabric, place the scrap square of fabric over the male portion of the vent grommet. Since we have to install this grommet from the wrong side of the fabric, we will position our cutting pad on the decorative fabric to help prevent us from damaging it as we use a mallet and the die to set the vent grommet in place. Now on the back side, place the washer on top of the male stud. The washer will go down as shown here. It is crucial that the grommet sits on the anvil below and that the top die fits perfectly over the male portion of the vent grommet. After checking that everything is lined up well and seated appropriately, we can use a mallet and we'll give it a few gentle blows to help roll the edge of the male portion around the washer. It is not uncommon that an edge may not be rolled over perfectly as you can see the edge towards Zach. It's better to give it a few gentle blows and reapply the die and give it a few more if necessary to get a good rolled over edge. So again, this is normal. If you strike it too hard with the mallet, what will happen is it will cut through the decorative facing. We don't want that. We're going to install one more of the 3 quarter inch vent grommets. Typically we find that edges aren't rolled over perfectly as you can see with the vent grommet to the left of the screen. This second 3 quarter inch vent grommet actually installed so that all the edges are rolled over beautifully. So you can expect a 50-50 chance of getting it rolled over perfectly on the inside. No one's going to see the inside. They typically only see the outside and that looks great on both. To install the 1 inch vent grommet, we'll use a 5 8 inch hole cutter. This is a number 5 hole cutter. And we'll punch a hole through our scrap fabric and our decorative fabric. Then we will insert the grommet just as we did with the 3 quarter we showed earlier. Now this is our larger vent grommet for even more ventilation. Installation is done in exactly the same manner except for the hole size is 5 8 inch. In a cushion, typically these vent grommets are installed in the boxing in the rear. Again, be sure that the vent grommets are seated appropriately on the dies. That is exceptionally important to get a good installation. And do not pound too hard on the die sets. It's better to be gentle and check your work. Zach notices it needs a few more blows. You can also roll the tool or the die around to apply more pressure on one side than the other if necessary. And the installation is complete. This one split slightly on the side, but again, no one sees the inside. The outside looks awesome. You can order the vent grommet die set, the vent grommets, the hole cutters, and the mallets all at Sailrite. If you have questions, give us a call. We're glad to help.